like excuse my voice it's a little deep um i'm tired and i think i'm having like an allergy attack i spent like most of the night um cleaning remember i told y'all i was gonna set up the lights i was gonna clean um do like my walkthrough because i didn't get to really do a walkthrough of the place since i was in virginia and everything i just kind of trusted the realtor that i went with and y'all guess what happened yesterday after i washed the um washer out with the tide washer machine cleaner I decided to put a load of clothes in because I had some clothes from the road trip that I needed to get that needed to get clean. Girl, I put some clothes in there. Tell me why the washer broke. It wouldn't drain. It had like an area a error code and it was like completely filled with water. So I had to force drain it. For those of y'all ever need to force drain a washer, you just turn it on the spin mode, but turn it on no spin and it will force it to drain. So I did that and it unlocked itself and I was able to take the clothes out. But girl, it wouldn't spin, it wouldn't do any of that. So I had to troubleshoot it myself. I called the realtor, they didn't answer me. And then, you know, it wasn't an emergency. So I was just like, girl, the landlord wasn't answering. So I went on YouTube, girl, YouTube University to find out how to um, fix the error code on an LG washer. And YouTube taught me how to do it, girl. I pulled out this, like, thing to drain the rest of the water. I had to get a big, huge tub to fill out because it was, like, gallons of water in there. Um, and then I pulled out this filter. Y'all, why? What? Let me tell y'all something. This, this realty company that um, helped me find this place, um, the actual realtor and the landlord said they had cleaned this place, whatever, whatever. Girl, that is not true because I am noticing things that's just already going left. So, I opened up that filter. Why was that filter filled with, like, all kind of stuff? It was just disgusting and it was packed. And that's probably why it was, like, um, an error code. So, they didn't clean it. And, you know what? I found it strange because, girl, um... Oh, I went to Starbucks, girl. And wait, side note. This is the honey citrus tea. Girl, it is so good. Anyway. Um, what was I saying? Oh, yeah. Girl, the filter was completely packed and disgusting. And one thing about that I'm noticing about renting now is that landlords and realty companies, they're not cleaning the places anymore. Are y'all like... Is that a thing because, or are y'all experienced next? I feel like the last two houses we didn't move to, they weren't really up to par and clean like they were supposed to be. Because when I moved out, remember when I did that move out, clean out video, when I moved out of my first house in Chesapeake? Girl, um, they made us do a whole bunch of stuff. They made us get a professional cleaning service and we had to have a receipt for that. They made us um, get the washer and dryer professionally clean and we had to have a receipt for that in order to close out, like just all kind of stuff. So I don't like, I don't know. I don't know the requirements for like um, here, but um, I looked at my lease just because of that. I looked at my lease and it didn't say that in order to move out, I was required to do a bunch of stuff. So I was like, girl, because obviously these people didn't do a bunch of stuff. Cause I had to clean the bathtub. I feel like I had to clean like just a lot of stuff. I'm noticing a lot of things like there's a scratch on my mirror, like a really big, crazy scratch, just a lot of stuff. So I went and wrote kind of like on my walkthrough sheet, all the stuff that I've been noticing. And um, there's no like paper towel or not paper towel, but like towel rack in my bathroom. There's no like toilet paper thing in my bathroom. So I feel like I'm going to have to purchase one of those standing up ones. It's just little stuff that I'm noticing. That's just not, it's just not, um, up to par, but, um, anyway, so I fixed the washer, I think, because after I like took the filter out and it was just full of shit. Like, um, I took pictures too, girl, because yeah, we gonna have a discussion with the, um, landlord about that. But, um, it started spinning and all that so I haven't tried it again because I don't really have any clothes to wash and I low-key want to try it because like I want to see if it's still working so 
I don't know. I just feel like I was having a time. And then I was cleaning and there was dust everywhere. So now I'm sneezing and like my nose is stuffy and runny. Gross, just a lot going on. But anyway, I'm up early. It's about 7.40. And um, I want to make it down to the DMV to get my license and registration, everything turned over to Nevada, you know, just so that can be legit because Nevada gives you 30 days when you move here to change over all of your stuff. I already got my Nevada car insurance. I just need to get my license plate changed and um, my driver's license. So, funky fresh, look at a mess, girl right now because we just going to go down to the MV. I went on Tuesday and I sat there for four hours and I got up and I was like, no. So I want to be the very first ones to get up in there. So they open at eight. It's literally like not too far. So I'm about to head over there and then try to get that done. And um, maybe I can try to go grocery shopping. I need to put up some more lights. So um, yeah, we got a lot of stuff to do, but we don't have any food in the refrigerator and I'm tired of eating out. But then I don't have any pots and pans. So I need to make a decision on what pots and pans that I want to order from Amazon. So it's just a lot, girl. But um, I'm going to call y'all back when I get that. Hey, y'all. <clears throat> so I'm coming back to you a little later in the day. I am munching on some Jamaican food right now. I got um, an oxtail plate with veggies and rice and peas. Sunny got jerk shrimp the mixed vegetables and the rice and peas i don't know it don't taste the same as um the jamaican food i've had in virginia or in california i feel like the rice and peas is a little dry the mixed vegetables ain't all that oxtails are okay but i'm starving because we just bought sunny's bed today because she finally made a decision on what color. Because um, it was out of a white and black. And she wants her room to be black. So we ended up going back to the furniture place. Confirm me with him. Um, and they had one in stock. So I bought it today. So they just delivered it. And everything. So um, we had to rush home for that. I spent like five hours. I can freaking see him be, girl. I spent five hours with the DMV getting all my license and registration straight. By the time I got done with that, I had to let Dior out. You hear her? Well, I'm talking. I had to let Dior out because it was time for her to pee. Because, you know, she goes to the bathroom. She's really, really good. She goes to the bathroom like three times a day. If not, if we're home, maybe a little bit more. But she goes in the morning, afternoon, and before bed. Like, that's just her little schedule. But it was already afternoon, so I had to take her out. Amazon dropped off some packages, so I had to get that because it was just sitting outside of my door. Then I had to run to go pick up Sunny because she literally had just got out. So I rushed there to pick her up on time. We went to Walmart and um, didn't really spend too much time there because we had a rush. To get home so they can put this bed up so it was just a lot so i didn't get to do a lot of vlogging that i wanted to today i didn't even get to go grocery shop we have no groceries none that's why we've been eating out we've been here 72 hours and we have no groceries <laughs> Cause I've been busy doing everything else, ordering furniture and just getting the essentials and trying to get this house together, put up the lights, girl, it's just a lot. So, at least we got the big stuff done, the legal stuff, like the DMV stuff and all that because your license and registration stuff has to be changed over. So, I got that done. So, I have tomorrow. Tomorrow is Friday and um, tomorrow I'm going to go grocery shopping. This is the goal, girl. Small grocery shopping. Possibly Bath and Body Works because I want to start getting those wallflowers. Because I want to, like, start making my house smell good. Because you know how when you first move in a place, it has that, like, new home, new paint smell. That's how this place smells. It's like 
new home, new paint, new fixtures, stuff like that. It just like smells too new. And so I kind of want my fall scent. So I want to get some wallflowers, some more candles. Um, for shopping, I want to get some wine for my wine rack. I bought a wine rack from Amazon. Well, I'm telling you, I'm going to have an Amazon haul for you guys. That I'm going to put over here where my dining table is going to go. So I need to buy wine for that. And, um, just a lot of stuff. I have some editing to do, too. I have a vlog that's going to come out. Um, um, probably tonight. Um, if I can get it edited. Oh, I also need a freaking fine Dior. A dog bowl. Or bowls. Because we threw away her old ones. So she's literally been drinking out of a... A little ramkin and a freaking paper plate, girl. Eating food out of paper plate. So, I got a lot of stuff to do, y'all. So, I will. I'm going to eat my food. Take a shower. I might put up the rest of these lights. And I'm going to call y'all back tomorrow. Hey, y'all. So, I'm starting off the vlog a little late in the day. Um... I just couldn't get up like I sound a little stuffy because I am like I feel like my allergies were triggered from like cleaning this condo because it was like a lot of dust and a lot of things and I just felt real bad yesterday so I took like a lot of Benadryl and I almost like OD'd or something because it was hard for me to get up I felt like groggy and just kind of like airheaded you know and just ew so I need to lay off the Benadryl because <laughs> I didn't even measure it I was just like the children's liquid one because girl I just feel so bad and I don't even have allergies but when there's like dust and stuff I can get a little allergy but I don't think it's nothing because my dad was like oh I think you're getting sick I'm like nah it's not that because um my um my like uh drippings from my nose is clear um I'm not coughing I don't have a scratchy throat or anything so I honestly think it's just because I unearthed dust nights or whatever in here because they clearly didn't clean um so i'm getting a late start because i was laying down just trying to relieve some pressure in my head and it did i feel like i'm a little better my nostrils are a little bit more clear and open but i'm still sneezing and um yeah i'm just drinking lots of water drinking coconut water and regular water because girl i cannot afford to get sick I can't even afford to have these allergies because Monday I start my new job. Well, it's not new. I transferred to the same hospital that I work at just in Las Vegas. and But they're putting me in a new area. So I'm going to be training for 14 days. They're putting me in surgery. So I'm going to be training for surgery because I never really did surgery outpatient before. So, girl, I don't have time to have these issues. So I'm picking up the camera pretty late. Um, it's about 2 o'clock in the afternoon. I just picked up Sunny from school, and now we're going to go do some grocery shopping. I'm probably going to stop at um, Walmart or Target or something to um, get some more towels. Uh, and probably like a candle or two because I just feel like I want... I haven't got to go to Bath & Body Works yet. I'm probably going to go this weekend. And just, you know, get this new house smell out. I was supposed to go, but I just never got a chance. It's just so much going on. I feel like this week went by so quickly. And I'm trying to get as much done as possible but before I go back to work because I'm not going to be able to take off. So anyway, probably going to get me a candle somewhere just so I can get this smell out of here. I have tons of Amazon stuff to unbox. So we can do that. Um... When I get home, well, not tons. I just have Amazon and then Misfits Market came. And then I have another Amazon pack package that should come by tonight. So I'm going to hurry up and go to the grocery store. And I checked my mail and I got Curology in the mail. So here's my new Curology order. Um, all It's pretty much the same things. All they did was like um, change my custom formula to be a little bit more stronger. Um, I guess, why are you guys all in my face? Um, they changed the azelaic acid. They upped it to, I think, 4% because I was like, can I get something more to, like, fade the scars? Even though I feel like the scars are fading. I know you guys probably can't see because this lighting is so bad. 
I'm, um, the lights are off. I just have this um, natural lighting because I didn't feel like turning on the lights, girl. So you guys probably can't see, but it's fading, but I just want it to fade a little faster. So um, my curology dermatologist said show up the percentage of azelaic acid because now I'm now I'm using 2%, so she upped it to 4%. So this is my new package. So that's the only thing that changed, but we can still unbox it. Um, so I checked the mail and I got these little coupons in the mail. So Vons and Albertsons and then also Smith's. So they don't have Kroger here and I'm sad because I really love Kroger, but actually I guess Smith's is the Kroger for Las Vegas. In California, Kroger is food for less, but they don't have food for less here anymore. I guess the last food for less went out of business here and so it turned into Smith's. So we're gonna visit Smith's and see how this goes. And then um, I have like some coupons, so we'll check it out. And then Vons, girl, I'm, I'm not really an Albertsons girl, but Vons, I used to love Vons when I was in my hometown, okay? Vons is the fanciest, nicest restaurant that has the most fanciest stuff. So we're definitely gonna go to Vons. I don't even have a list of what I'm gonna get because we basically need everything, okay? Like, there's nothing in this refrigerator. Or, this freezer nothing okay so we basically need everything so we're probably gonna have a cart just full of mess so we have that to look forward a super duper grocery haul so anyway I'll pick you guys back up when we get to the grocery store <laughs> kind of unwind with a glass of wine real quick because I feel like that was just a lot like <laughs> I don't think I've ever had a cart just like full of stuff because normally there's already stuff in my refrigerator and so I would just get the things that I need so I had to actually go through a real cashier line you know normally I just do the self-checkout but we had to go through like the real cashier line because I had like a cart full of stuff I actually didn't even get to get all the stuff that I needed because I didn't feel like getting a whole nother cart girl <laughs> I'm not rolling around with two cards okay so I was just like you know what we're gonna get the basics and we're gonna come back for the rest so um, I don't know about tomorrow because we're supposed to be looking for mattresses my daughter's bed got delivered today um, no no yesterday it got delivered yesterday so um, we just need a mattress because we didn't go with the mattress that the furniture store um, wanted to give us because the last time we bought her a bed set and we went with the mattress that they selected for us that comes with the set, she didn't really like it. It wasn't really like her thing, so we had to buy a new mattress anyway. So we're gonna go look for um, mattresses tomorrow and hopefully purchase one so she can start sleeping in her new bed. My bed doesn't come for the next four weeks, girl, so. I'm still gonna look for me a mattress though. So it could just already be here. So I don't even have to go through the trouble of just looking for a mattress. So I'm gonna purchase two mattresses tomorrow and just have mine sitting up against the wall or something, girl, okay? And I'll return to my air bed. <laughs> 
until my bed comes. Like, I can't wait till I show you guys the bed. It's just like, it's, it's my dream bed. I might do a separate video on that bed because I feel like um, I was so lucky enough to find this place that actually um, manufactures those beds because originally I found another place that um, made that bed, but they only had it in black and gray and I want it kind of like a cream white. So I'm just praying that when it gets to me, it's just in perfect condition. There's nothing wrong. I don't have to return it. Because you know how when you do these online purchases, you never know, girl. But I mean, this place has good reviews and stuff. And um, I've even seen YouTube videos. Because I started doing my research of it before I purchased it, of course. But I'm just like excited because I always wanted this bed. I just could never get it in the right color that I wanted, you know? So now that I have it in the right color, I'm just excited to show y'all. Like, I'm kind of looking forward to just decorating and everything. Anyway, while I was in the shower girl, um, Sunny informed me that some more Amazon packages came. Um, Cause I'm gonna just be unboxing a bunch of things. I'm probably just gonna do a separate video, um, an Amazon haul of all the stuff because I found some really cool home stuff. Anyway. Let me give you guys this haul for groceries, okay? Because there is a ton of stuff here. Before I lay it down, because I'm feeling comfortable, I'm all oiled up, skincare is done, honey. We are gonna lay down. But let me give you guys some of the basics that we bought that the cart could fit. So tea, we went and got some tea. Um. This is uh, the Lipton Head Relief, and then this one is the Stress Therapy. I feel like I love those teas. I need the Head Relief. I should be drinking that instead of wine because my sinus stuff, you know, because of these allergies, is just really getting to me, but I'll probably have some in the morning. Next, I have, um, oh, this is my daughter's, her Spice Chai Tea. And of course, um, Organic Agave. I love Organic Agave with my tea. I got the basic seasonings, girl, cracked pepper, pink Himalayan salt, and um, regular sea salt. Because y'all know at my other house, I had a lot of different seasonings. I'm going to have to catch up. But right now, I just got the basics. We got sugar cubes. I have recently taken upon myself to buy sugar cubes lately and not sugar because i just think it's just like i don't know it's just like aesthetically cute to me and so i bought like this cute little sugar cube container from amazon i can't wait to show y'all it's just so cute i just love sugar cubes girl um i bought a ton of meat so they had two little cornish hens i thought was a really good deal i think it was eight dollars for the two and i feel like it's hard to find the cornish hens at least in virginia um some italian dry salami to probably have with my wine i was going to um what do girl you know do you are right here looking at me like i'm gonna cook her something um i was gonna have some um wine a little bit of cheese and a little bit of um dry salami tonight but instead i got some in and out and i still haven't even touched that girl i just went straight to the shower <laughs> okay um we got some bacon ends and some more little meats. These are probably for my daughter because she likes his little meats too. Of course, some soy sauce. We always need soy sauce. I feel like I need soy sauce for a multitude of things. Some teriyaki marinade. Bacon, of course. Even though my, my freaking air fryer is not getting here until like November 14th or something. So I'm gonna have to like fry bacon the old school way. Girl, I haven't fried bacon in a pan in a minute, like <laughs> probably in years. Here's another uh, bottle of wine. This is Minaj Trois Midnight Dark Red Blend. Girl, one thing about Smith's, so Smith's is the place that we went to. Girl, that store is ghetto. Like I don't, I don't care what nobody say. Like Kroger has got me spoiled, okay? Um, food for less is a tad bit ghetto in California, but 
Kroger in Virginia was just top tier. Y'all know I love me some Kroger. Smith's, I don't know if I'm going to like Smith's. It had a trash wine selection or a trash wine section. It, it was just, I feel like the meat was good. They had a lot of meats to choose from, but the wine section was trash. It was just, they had more hard liquors than wine. And I think that's because on the West Coast, you can actually buy liquors in all kind of stores. See, in Virginia, I had got used to there being a separate store for the liquors you had to go to called ABC. I forgot here on the West Coast that you can just literally buy liquor anywhere here versus um, Virginia, it's like controlled, you know. So they just had most of the freaking hard liquors and not like nice wine. So I did look up some Total Wine. So there is Total Wine here in the area. So I'm gonna have to just go to Total Wine to get me some wine because Girl, I couldn't believe it. They didn't have my plum lime or nothing. I bought some more cage-free brown eggs from Eglin Beth. Um, olive oil. So I can fill my olive oil bottle, which I don't have. So I need to order an olive oil bottle. Um, some chicken. They actually had a lot of chicken. In Virginia, I feel like chicken was scarce. So, chicken wings, and these are prime, rib no, ribeye. These are ribeye steaks. Got some ribeye steaks, and I'm going to have to vacuum seal, like, all of this stuff. My vacuum sealer came from Amazon today, but I'm not going to do it tonight. We'll just do it tomorrow. Um, I bought a gang of juices. So this one is the uh, Simply Lemonade. I always get Simply Lemonade. This one is the um, regular lemon one. This one is the strawberry lemonade one. These are just my go-to juices. I always buy them no matter what. And then, I think I got like four of them or something. Yeah, this one is the blueberry lemonade one girl i gotta make room because there's not any room here and then i got water lately sunny and i have been drinking the evian waters like for some reason um we ended up buying these because this was all the water they had and we ended up getting hooked on them so we literally been drinking them i feel like even though I'm not a water connoisseur girl, so don't like, you know, take my word for water. Y'all know me. It's hard for me to drink water. I have to force myself to drink water. But when I started drinking this water, I felt like it was, it tasted better than like Aquafina and just like other bottled waters that I tasted. This water is just really good. I can see why it's considered like a bougie water. So I got two things of Evian. They also had the big old huge bottles, but I feel like it would have fit in my refrigerator. So I got the like little medium sized bottles. Um, the refrigerator is adjustable, the little, um, what do you call it? Shelves, they're adjustable, but I just don't feel like doing all that right now, bro. Like when I have time, I'll go through and customize everything that I want. Some freeze-dried strawberries because I did get some cereal. I got the Special K Red Berries, some um, big country biscuits. We got these little shot glasses for Sunny's belly ring. She still has to um, clean it, I think, every day with salt and water. And she just mixes it in there and then holds it against her belly button. So we need some shot glasses. These are Sunny's. These are her, like, noodles. She loves anything asian basically asian noodles anything um some more biscuits and we got some more meat here so here's some more chicken these are chicken thighs ew and it's all wet Ugh, i hate that so it's like leaking or something and these are um, chicken tenders, like boneless and skinless chicken tenders to make like um, fried chicken tenders or something, like homemade chicken tenders. When my air fryer gets here. 
Okay, also, we got popcorn. Because my TV will get here soon. So as soon as that comes, I'll hook up the Netflix, pick up the cable roll. We got the popcorn. Butter. It's feeling kind of weird. Uh, girl, let me put this in the refrigerator right now. Because it's just been sitting out. So, that. And. Oh, here's another. We got whole milk, of course. And. Uh, Another raspberry lemonade, simply lemonade. I still got some more stuff down here. Um, we got some Arizona green tea. This is probably Sunny's. She likes that. And Sunny's chips for school. Some apple cider vinegar. Some Mrs. Butterworth Girl because we are not doing um, Aunt Jemima, aka Pearl Milling Company, whatever. I like Mrs. Butterworth better anyway. I feel like Mrs. Butterworth just tastes like um, a little bit more creamier and butterier than the other one. So we're doing that. I got some Bisquick. Y'all know I use Bisquick to make pancakes. I don't really like that pancake mix, like crusties or anything like that. I love Bisquick, it's like old school. And then I have some old school grits. Because for some reason, y'all, I don't like the minute grits. The Quaker, the Quaker grits, I don't like those. I like the old fashioned shit. And here's my red berries. And let me see. Oh yeah, girl. we got some more. Hold on a minute, girl. Hold on. We got some more shit here. Okay. This is Sunny's Crayon Apple. We got some fancy paper bowls or plastic bowls here so we can have some type of cereal or soup because none of my... Um, dishes have come yet so it seems like all the important stuff that I order doesn't want to come until later on in November and all of the stuff that I don't need is coming like now this little trees this little cheese tray that I found it's a handcrafted cheese tray and it has like um looks like dried apricots walnuts and some cheese I was gonna eat that tonight, but I'm gonna do it tomorrow. And yeah, I think this is it. This is the last of the last. gonna have some ground beef on that because you never know what you're gonna make and then I found some lamb chops on sale well not lamb chops these are lamb I think shoulders yeah lamb shoulder chops so I found some of those and some more meat I got um what are these oh ball tip petite steak so there's two of each in there. I thought that was just really fun. They were on sale. Let's see. Like this one was a pack for five fifty. So I was like, girl, you can never have too much meat and stuff. You know, you can always pull it out the freezer. Like like I do. You guys know that I do the vacuum sealing. Like I and I highly recommend that, y'all. If y'all like, not even if you have kids. If you're single and you just like to kind of stack up on food instead of going out to buy it every time like if you vacuum freeze it and put it in the freezer and not only does the vacuum sealing kind of give you more space in your freezer 
but like it makes it last a long time so then you could just pull it out you're like mm, i want some steak today oh excuse me oh i want some steak today girl and just pull it out i label them i label like the date and everything pull it out girl and make it i just that's what i do i like to stack up on stuff because i hate going out and having to like purchase it sometimes because sometimes you know you just don't feel like doing that you just want to go into your freezer and pull out some shit so yeah um i'm gonna put all of this stuff up and then i have my misfits market box i guess we can open that because yeah i'm probably gonna need to refrigerize refrigerate that stuff too so I'm gonna put this stuff away and then I'll open that box and we'll see what's up with that box as well. Okay, baby, let's see what we got in our Misfits Markets box. This time, y'all, normally I um, get the $35 Misfits Market box because when you when you deal with Misfits Market, I'm just gonna explain it to you guys because I don't know if you guys use Misfits Market, but when you get Misfits Market or when you sign up, you can either get the $35 tier or the I think it's 40 or it might be 45. Oh, excuse me, but that line got me like <laughs> gassy and stuff. But um, so what it is 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 basically when you order $35 is your 35 or 45 is your threshold to where they'll ship it your box has to be at least $35 or $45 so I was $30 or $35 at first now since I trust Misfits Market and definitely I've done my research y'all like definitely ordering your vegetables and fruits and just what you can from Misfits Market is like way cheaper than going to the store so I I have put my faith in Misfits Market when it comes to my fruits and vegetables at the moment. So I did move my tier up to the forty or forty five dollar tier. So I had to have forty or forty five dollars in my box before it was shipped. So I got a few more items. So let's see what we got. this time to have that. Still got the ice here. So I got my spinach and I'm kind of bummed because I feel like girl I feel like I bought all these vegetables and I'm probably not going to be able to use them because my pots and pans aren't going to come. So I'll probably have to buy like a quick pan real quick just so I can like use this stuff because they're all organic. So like, you know, it's gonna go bad. So I'm gonna have to buy a quick pot. Green onion. I got a lot of avocado. So these are green. So they're gonna take a while to get ripe. Some lemons. Jeez, I got a lot of avocados, but we eat a lot of avocados, girl. I don't even remember. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, I probably got six. I don't even remember. I have to look. But I got a big old bag of lemons as well for tea. And I got this cute little mini watermelon. It's going to be for Sunny because she loves watermelon. And uh, I also got a honeydew melon, y'all. Cause Sunny loves honeydew melons, watermelons, and cantaloupes. So I told her, I was like, girl, instead of us buying the already cut stuff, we should just get it from Misfits Market because it's organic. You know, like I'm trying to be more health conscious, you guys know, girl, about like what I eat. So everything that I'm trying to get is like organic. We got some uh, rosemary and some red onions. And, uh, oh, mints. And another rosemary. And what is this, child? Oh, okay, here we go. 
So um, rainbow carrots. I loved these so much when I made a scallop dish. I don't know if you guys remember that vlog, but I made a scallop dish with these rainbow carrots and I really, really liked them. So I decided to purchase them again. Uh, we got some asparagus. Now one thing about organic asparagus is that I feel like it's so skinny. Look, it is so skinny because you know, normally when you buy asparagus from the grocery store, it's like thick, but that's because they put all those hormones stuff in it. So unfortunately, this is real organic asparagus, y'all. It's it's like skinny and thin, okay? And I got two uh, packs of Brussels sprouts and oh, some blueberries. They put them in a... Um, little thing here so some blueberries and three white onions and that's what we got in the misfits market box this time around um i also got my velvet hangers i got some velvet hangers my bar stool, so I'm gonna have to put the bar stools up tomorrow, girl, because I'm tired. It's late. It's like nine o'clock or something. I still gotta put all of this stuff up because I haven't decided how I'm gonna organize my refrigerator yet. So I'm basically gonna throw some of this stuff probably in a bag so I won't get it um, dirty because I have some like refrigerator organization stuff coming up. Like I just have a lot of stuff because this is how I want my place to be, okay? Like we're. Listen, we're doing us. We are doing us. Before, I feel like I was just doing whatever, just trying to make it through the day, you know? But now, since I'm on my own, I feel like I can do things the way I want to. So I want to organize my refrigerator with like storage units and everything. So I'm not sure how I'm gonna do that with the vegetables yet, but I'm going to get back to y'all. And that'll probably be some content. I'm going to get back to y'all. So we'll probably put up the bar stools tomorrow. Because I just don't feel like a girl. Like, I've had it. Okay? It's time to go to bed for me. So good night. I'm going to pick y'all up tomorrow. Okay? to open up these um, packages and this one I think is my bar stool to be honest with you and I'm gonna go ahead and assemble them now because I just I haven't got a chance. Oh yeah, look. Oh my gosh, they are cute. So I got all white and they're like this modern design where the seat is like flat. You see that, but like a wavy type? Or does it go like this? I don't know. Oh, excited. Okay. Let's get to building. Guys, this is all of the materials that it came with. So the bar stools are supposed to look like this. So we'll see if we can get everything <laughs> looking right. More carrots. Don't tear it. More carrots. Where's carrot?
package girl before I call the night okay assembling those bar stools they were easy but it took a little longer than I expected for me because y'all know girl I don't be assembling things <laughs> okay I am not that girl I don't be going around building things and all that so that's something I'm gonna have to get used to because it's just me and sunny now but girl that was a lot Anyway, I wanted to show you guys this really nice Amazon find. Y'all, this is something that I have been anticipating. I have so many things coming, y'all. Like, I found so many cool things. It's a toaster, right? But let me show y'all what kind of toaster. It's one of those smart toasters. Well, it's supposed to be. I have like a screen. Oh my god, we about to open this. This toaster is supposed to make like bagels. I mean everything. I got it in the color chocolate. Now when I saw it, I thought it was like brown, but I guess chocolate would be yeah, I guess it is. It's, um, I guess they call it chocolate because it's kind of like rose goldy. I hate how that is because I want it kind of silver or white or, you know, light brown. I guess this would go kind of with the aesthetic because as you guys can see, my aesthetic is like white, earth tone, bone, brown. So I guess dark brown, but this is like a rose gold, but I still like it. Let me set y'all down a little low so you can see it. Look, I'm gonna plug it in so we can, um, these are just like instructions. I'm gonna plug it in just so we can like see what it's, ooh. Let me not break it. Then I'm gonna be mad. Okay. 
Okay. Let's plug it in over here. And see what it really does. It's supposed to have all of these like really cool settings. And the plug is really short. So I'm going to have to move y'all over here. So we can plug it in. Hopefully y'all can see it. You see it? Girl. Okay. So let's read the instructions. I don't even know. So let's see. Safety instructions. Blah, blah, blah. Okay. Controls. Let's see. So, I mean. Okay, there we go. You see the modes? Girl, look at the look at the colors of the toast. Like, isn't that crazy? What is this? This says defrost, bread type, timer. Let's cancel. More time. Reheat. Okay. Girl, y'all see that? Put y'all down a little bit. Y'all see the toasts? Look at the colors. So you're able to choose, uh oh. So you're able to choose like, if you want it light, dark, burnt, and then also has here um, a sign for like a bagel. If you have um, uh -oh. a bagel, um, Grade a waffle. What is this? Girl, y'all know I can't see. A waffle. Just all kinds of stuff. I just thought that was so cool. Girl, I don't have any bread to try yet. I want to try it so bad. <laughs> I don't have any bread right now to try it. So when I do, when I get a bread or a bagel or something, girl, we're going to try it. There's even a sign for English muffin. So you would press English muffin. What is this? Gluten-free? Girl, this is crazy. So I just thought that was really cute. I've never had like a smart toaster. So we'll see how this goes. Ah, girl. The bitch is back, okay? For a while, I wasn't feeling very human. My hair was looking a mess, girl. I felt like my skin was looking a mess because I wasn't really doing my skincare. It was just dry. I got my moisturizer, my sunscreen one, a little bump. Okay, we did a little uh, bump with the flat iron with the hair. It's amazing what a little bit of skincare and a bump under the hair can do, honey. Okay, the bitch is back. So, uh, Sunny and I are up. It's about late in the afternoon because um, they just delivered our mattresses. So, um, we had to wait for that. But we're about to get up and go. Um, I want to try to hit the mall because I want to go to Bath and Body Works to get me some wallflowers because I have no wallflowers here. Y'all know who I am about my candles and my scents. So I want to build up my wallflower collection and my candle collection again. Uh, also, um, I need some business casual clothes because I start my new job tomorrow. Well, same hospital. I just transferred. Um, and I have to do two weeks of training because I'm in surgery now. Y'all know I was endocrine nurse. Now they put me in surgery. When you transfer between government hospitals, they just kind of stick you where they have room, you know? So um, they put me in surgery, outpatient surgery, so I've never done outpatient surgery. So I'm gonna be training for 14 days, so they want us to wear business casual clothes, and I got rid of most of my clothes, y'all, so that's gonna be um, some videos too. I'm gonna be experimenting with fashion because I just wanna change up everything. I feel like I just wanna change up the way my house is decorated, my mindset, my fashion, just everything. So I basically pretty much threw away all my clothes before I came here just to start over. So um, definitely need some business casual clothes. So we're going to try to find that. And hopefully we have enough time to get our nails done because I need my nails. I took my nails off 
and I feel like they've been breathing for a little bit so it's good to get them re um done because y'all know how I do sometimes I like to take the full set off especially when it grows out um and just take a break for a little while so I feel like I've been on a break so get nails done get toes done get prepared for tomorrow because first day of work and uh yeah so I'm gonna take y'all with us Y'all, we found this place called the Boulevard. I guess it's like a mall or something. And it has a Bath and Body Works in it. So we're gonna go in here and see what adventures we can find in here. Oh my God, they sure do. Y'all, we haven't seen a hot dog on a stick in a minute since San Diego, girl. Vegas is the West Coast. Vegas is definitely the West Coast. These are all of our favorite West Coast stores in here. I wonder if they have wet soul pretzel. They have Wiener Schnitzel? Oh my gosh. Yeah, if they have a wet soul pretzel, we're going. We're going. Here's the candles, those are the wallflowers and the wallflower um, devices. Now we're gonna go back to the car real quick and put this stuff up and then come back. I promise as soon as my pot set come I'm gonna be cooking again okay because I've been eating so bad I don't even know why I haven't gained weight I haven't really gained any weight but I was worried about that because I've been eating so bad girl so 
sat down and ate some carne asada fries real quick and then um we're gonna try to head down here to get our nails done I might just get my toes done. I just don't feel like sitting there forever. So it just depends on what's going on in the nail shop. I got my toes done. Sunny got her nails done. Um, they were just taking forever. And then I got a notification that my pots and pans came. And um, it's Amazon, so they left it outside my front door. Like, I these condominiums are safe. They're in a gated community. Well, they're the condominiums are gated themselves. There's also a mail room, but only for like the United States Postal Service mail. So the Amazon stuff just goes in front of your door. It's safe, but like, you know, I've only been here about five days, girl, so I don't know. I have this nosy neighbor right here, so I'm sure if someone took something, she would tell me. But, girl, like, I, I don't know. And I need my pots and pans because I've been eating out a lot. So, um, I just came home because I was like, when they were done with Sunny's nails, I was like, forget it, girl. Because he took a long time. He took like two hours. But... She got some long, crazy nails like she always do, but, um, yeah, he took like two hours, and then there was no one else to do my nails at the same time, so I was like, girl, I will come back, I will wait, okay, because <laughs> I got to get my stuff from the porch, so we ended up going to Bath and Body Works, and, um, we got lots and lots and lots of stuff, um, I wanted one of these to put the candles in so I got this one I kind of wanted a Christmassy one but girl um I don't know I think because right now I'm trying to spend my money wisely so I feel like this would just go with every day the Christmas stuff would just be the Christmas stuff so I want a Christmassy one because I am gonna put a Christmas tree I'm probably gonna put it there in my dining room because I can't find my pedestal table that I want yet and I'm not just going to get any table. I'm going to get what I want. So um, I'll probably put it there or something. But I just didn't want to do too much Christmas decor and spend money on that, you know. Because right now we're trying to be practical. We're trying to decorate the overall condo. So, yeah. So I just got a regular silver one. Um, we got, I think, four candles total. I got peppermint hot chocolate. And this one smells so good. I think I'm going to start burning this one now. Um... Fala la latte girl this one smells like a straight up caramel latte this one was just i couldn't pass that one up y'all know i love coffee um this one here oh merry cookie i did want like christmas scents you know because i do want my house to be more folly and then this one is champagne toast i think this one is sunny's she likes um champagne toast and she likes strawberry pound cake a lot so we got four candles. I bought seven wallflowers because I want to start using these in my home. So I bought seven of these ones. These are like the white marble. I got the white marble because my, my condo is pretty much white marble. The um, countertops are white marble. The um, bathroom, the fireplace is a little white marbly. So I wanted to kind of keep that theme and just kind of like, you know, just keep that. And then they have the match. So 
We got seven of those and um, tons of wallflowers because today the wallflowers were $2.95 each and normally they're like $7 right so I got a whole bag of them like tons and tons of them so I'm gonna put some of these up at least two of them one in the kitchen and one in the living room just so it can start smelling like a home in here because I feel like it just smells like a new freshly painted condo also they're doing something with the cabinets there's a guy coming tomorrow they're I guess they're replacing cabinets or something's going on because I've been having a plumbing issue so they went behind there a few days ago and just found all kind of stuff that they're gonna clean out so I feel like it's just gonna smell really construction-y in here and we're trying to turn this condo into a home because this is Sunny Eye and Dior's new home so I'm actually gonna um maybe I'll use this cookie one. Oh no spice gingerbread I might use this one this spice gingerbread one to kind of um no, this isn't the same to kind of like you know make the house into a home because like I said this is our new home here we go so I'm gonna use two now and I don't know if you're supposed to keep this on here probably not And I've never used wallflowers before. Normally, I just had like scented oil lamps and stuff, but I've always wanted to try these. People rave about the wallflower, so I guess I will try them. I don't know. Do you take this off, girl? I don't even know, but I think you should. You take this off, right, girl? I don't even know. Watch me break this thing. Let me see if Sunny can open it. Get it for me, girl. Okay. So I put it in. Now these ones have like a um button here where you can I guess up the scent. I don't know how. You because it doesn't like I guess it has to be plugged in. Maybe you'll be able to see it, but I like that adjustable. But I like that that it's adjustable and that you can like um adjust how much scent you want yeah y'all look look see so it lights up so you can press it that is freaking awesome and for the candle holder i think i'm gonna start off with mary cookie Ooh, girl look at me <laughs> so i'm just gonna load that in there and it'll stay in here i'll put the rest of these up Give this to Sunny, and then we are going to unbox our pots and pants, okay? But we need to do that. And I also need to, oh, I need to do some vacuum sealing. So come on, girl, let's go. Let's get this show on the road, honey. Okay, let's get into the mood and light this candle. Um, I already smell the wallflowers going, so that's good. So I guess they are pretty strong. Somebody told me like they can literally um, fill up an entire room by itself. So I'm thankful about that. So we want our house to smell good, y'all, because like I said, this is our home. So I'm trying to break it in. Girl, why can't I light this candle? Okay. <laughs> what was that? Okay. Actually, let me move this here. Let me go get my pots and pans. Okay. Let's 
open this thing. Y'all are gonna freak because look, I found some cream white colored ones. Well, I think they're like white. I found cream and then I found white. I think I went with the white ones because I like the way they look better than the cream set. I like Karate, C-A-R-O-T-E. I love their pots and pans. I've gotten pots and pans for them before. Normally I would go with them, but this one had better reviews. Because Karate, if you don't get the one, the pots that have the detachable handle, if you get the one with the wooden handle, they kind of burn or whatever. So that's why I ended up with this one. So we'll see how it goes. I'm going to make breakfast. Oh, no. You know what? I mean, I guess I can. Um, I just, because I don't have my air fryer. I feel so weird making bacon in the pan like who does that anymore like <laughs> i use the air fryer pretty much for anything fried so it can um you know just drain the drain the oil but i gotta make breakfast tomorrow so i will uh, attempt and this is also supposed to be non-stick so we'll see I'm kind of skeptical when I see things that say non-stick because, girl, every non-stick pot or pan that I've used, not non-stick. Well, food is going to stick because you're cooking. You know, I feel like nothing is really bulletproof when it comes to food because, I mean, food is food. You're like simmering cheese, sauce, all kind of stuff. So, the non-stick for me... It's not really a, um, a must, you know what I'm saying? Okay, so when you peel open the box, it has like this little inscription on it that just talks about the pans itself. And then, look at that, oh my God, it looks so nice. Let me take it out so y'all can see. So. coating does feel like it's non-stick but like I said girl that's not a deal breaker for me I hope you guys can see so I'm gonna have to take the stickers off but isn't that nice how it's just like a wood handle and everything and it's like pure white it's not really cream see Jesus Christ I am super excited because y'all know I'll be cooking okay so like just happy new pots and pans is nice and I feel like this is a great aesthetic for me, especially for this kitchen. So the rest of the stuff I'm going to get, I guess it's going to be white or cream. I really like the wood handle, y'all. Like the wood handle is just, the wood handle is giving. I don't know how strong it is with heat, even though you're not really supposed to be putting your handles on heat. Sometimes they end up on the heat, you know, so. So what is this? Um... It doesn't say what size pan it is, but I'm pretty sure. Oh, wait. What is this? It doesn't have a top to it, girl. Mm -mm. Or like a handle thing. Don't tell me they gave me something defective. Or do we have to put the um top on it, I guess? Yeah, so they match and they're also, oh, they're silicone. Okay, so silicone, I'm guessing heat resistant because they're making things like that now. I'm not necessarily seeing metal tools anymore. I'm seeing this like heat resistant silicone. So we got to Pretty good size spatula, one of these pasta stirrers, and just a big soup spoon or a sauce spoon. Nice, nice. Um, what's this? Oh, okay, so these are the pot handles. So, or not the 
the pot handles, the top, the top handles. So we will have to screw in. And look at that. That is just the nicest detailing. You guys see that? How it says cook lover, the signature. That is such a nice touch. Mm, so I'm probably going to need to, um, girl, my dumb ass. I'm going to have to unscrew this with a screwdriver and put it on. We'll do that later after we unbox everything. Let's see. Look at that. Look how they're wrapped. That is just super fancy and nice. And I love how it has the signature here. That is just so nice to me. So we got three. Three. Um, yeah, one, two, three tops. And hopefully all of the top handles. And then we also got, um, what are these? I don't even know what these are. I'm gonna have to read on um, what those are. Oh, are those the things that go on here? Probably the things that slide. Yeah, maybe these are that slide on there. So we got a little, looks like induction pot. It feels nice too, you guys. Look at the bottom of that. It feels nice. It feels like it's like quality products. I think the set ran me like $125. It'll be linked down in my Amazon store. Um, link in the description box if anybody's interested in purchasing these. Ooh, this looks like, oh, it's just some dirt. I was like, girl, no, they didn't give me a used one, but it's just some dust. So, and this is the big pot. And I feel like there's more stuff or something. Yeah, so there's some more stuff down here. Let's take this. sure I'm not throwing anything that I'm supposed to throw or not supposed to throw away and then we have a square a square frying pan and I like this well it's like a grill because it has the ridges I like this very weighted and nice and yeah just some more um thank you cards instructions on how to put those hot handles and stuff on so I guess it's just like self-explanatory like maybe they think everybody knows how to put pot handles together so let me just see so this is obviously goes to that this obviously goes to this And this one goes to this, okay. No, I think I had it right the first time. Okay. So we got every single top that goes to the pots, two frying pans, the holders, and the tools. Okay. So I think we got everything. This is actually everything. Like, I am impressed. I'm actually going to um take these stickers off. Maybe I shouldn't throw these in the dishwasher. Maybe I should, until I read if they're dishwasher. So, I mean, they should be.
but I'm gonna clean them obviously first before I use them tomorrow morning. So we'll do that later because I need to start vacuum sealing all of this meat because I've already had this meat in the refrigerator for like 24 hours. Okay, girl, final coup de gras. Drum roll, please. <laughs> oh, that was terrible. <laughs> we have a brand new vacuum sealer. A brand new vacuum sealer. And this one is like very fancy like and it was pretty mm, i don't know i don't know if it was 87 or 57 it'll be down in my um amazon store um i'll link that down in the description box below never skip on the description box i always put like little tidbits in there and stuff and then i bought all the vacuum seal bags it came in like a medley i'll put that down in the um, amazon store too so this one Let's open it because it just, it floored me when I was reading like the um, description of it and looking at the video of what it does. It's very like high tech, way high tech than my other one. Remember my other one I had, y'all? That one's still there back at the old house. I miss it though. It, it got the job done, y'all. Let me put you guys down so you can see what we're doing. Put y'all here. Okay. Put y'all here. Okay. So, quick unboxing. Oh, I forgot to tell you guys. Now, this vacuum sealer comes with one of these contraptions that can actually vacuum seal um, bags that are vacuum sealable. So, to give you guys an example or a visual, that would be like the space bags. Have you guys seen those space bags that people use to like um, condense their clothes to travel? Yeah, so if, there's also like... Um, bags like sandwich bags that can be vacuum sealable so it has that attachment to that so i thought that was cool because i never knew they had um vacuum sealable sandwich bags so i might get that and we might make some content out of that girl because um y'all know me in the vacuum sealer i like to go ham okay so i'm not sure if you need to charge this one first or if, oh no, it, it has a plug. Okay, so I thought it said something about charging it. All right, we got our manual instructions, and it even came with some bags already. But we have the whole rolls there, so. actually plug it in so we can uh, see what it does yeah so it goes this way and ooh, girl, let me not open break this thing let me open it Girl, let me read the instructions real quick. Because knowing me, I will break it. Because I think... Okay, let's take this plastic off. How about we plug it up first? Because we might be able to see... What's going on? Because I think it's like a touch screen if we plug it up. See what I'm saying? I almost broke the shit. So you're not supposed to be touching this at all. This is where you're just going to insert the bag. So it's much easier than my old one. My old one, you would open this up, line it up, and then close it, seal it, and then push the button. This one, you literally just stick it in there. You see where it says hot, you know? You would just stick it in there and vacuum seal. So everything is touch screen. Here are the buttons. 
and then um, the attachment with the vacuum seal um, vacuum for the Ziploc bags and the um, stuff is right here so let's actually give it a try like let's try because y'all know I just bought some meat I have tons of meat to vacuum seal so let's try this real quick Okay, y'all, so I done did four meats already, okay? I still got the lamb chops to go, and then I have um, some chicken, but I'm going to do the chicken tomorrow. Let me show y'all. The I like this thing, but one thing I don't like about it is that you can't lift this up. So if you do use the bags, like right now I'm using their bags that came with it because they're the perfect size for the meat right now. Um, if the edges are curled up like they are, I don't know if you guys can see, it's hard to like feed it through um, versus like my old one, you can lift this thing up and place it down so that way it's never, the edges are never curved because I feel like when the edges are curved, I did run into something where um, I did one of these meats um, and the edges was curved and it went down on it. Oh, excuse me. It went down on it. And it didn't properly do the suction. So you have to make sure the bags or at least the edges are not curled up. So you can put feed it into the machine properly. And girl, one thing I don't like about this is that it is so loud. Watch. I'm going to put it just so you guys can hear it. Do you hear it? Girl, it is so loud. I feel like it's louder than my other one. And this is like more high tech. So, um, yeah, those are the only things I don't like about it. I haven't tried this attachment yet, but I'm actually going to look on Amazon to see if they have those Ziploc bags. And I'm going to try it. I don't know what I'm going to Ziploc. <laughs> Girl, don't ask me what I'm going to Ziploc, okay? But, yeah, I'm going to have to try it. But, overall... I like it. I just have to get used to it. It does have um, here moist and dry. So if you have something that's dry and you want to um, vacuum seal, you can. It has the seal on its own. So if you want to seal um, a bag of chips, and I do like this feature, but my old one had this feature too. So if you open up a bag of chips and you just want to reseal it, you don't have to go through this whole thing. You can just literally feed it in through the um, slot and then press seal and then you can seal like your bag of chips again or whatever. And you can also do the vacuum separately. And then um, this one right here, I don't know what that's about yet, girl. We gotta read the manual, but yeah, overall, I guess I'm happy with it and I'll give it a, I think I'll give it a 3.5 just because the feeding situation and the noise, girl, because I can't, girl, the older I get, listen, turn y'all around so you can see me. Girl, 
one thing about me, the older I get, the more I do not want to hear no noise. Okay, like, don't ask me why, like, because I cannot stand super duper loud noise anymore. Like, especially like cars or motorcycles or just unnecessary racket. <laughs> Do I sound old girl? Racket, clamor, you know, stuff like that. I'm just like, I cannot stand unnecessary noise. So, one thing about me, I don't like noise. So, I'll give it a 3.5 just because of the noise.